Hey guys, I have another message for you. Just, I've just been thinking about this. Um, many times we love people with our mind and not our heart, right? So I'm just going to tell you guys what I mean by that. I'm definitely guilty of doing this. Um, so say you're dating someone and, you know, seems like everything's right. They're saying the right things. They're acting the right way. Um, you know, so much that you're ignoring a lot of the red flags, right? Um, but your mind is like, it can confuse you into thinking that this person may be the right person when you know in your heart, you know that they're really not the right person, right? Um, so my question is, why do we do that? Like as people, and is it controllable? Can we control that? Um, because I definitely struggle with seeing the best in someone, you know, we think like, or at least I think, oh no, they can't be like that. Oh, they wouldn't do, but they're so nice. And then, you know, you try to trick yourself or fool yourself into believing like with your mind that, you know, this person would never, you know, do you wrong. This person really cares for you. This person loves you. Well, they did this with me or they told me this. So you kind of fool yourself. You fool your heart into believing that this person really like loves and cares about you. Um, you know, I know people with anxiety do that. We, we can make stories up in our heads. And I say we, because I've suffered with anxiety. We can make stories up in our head that we can really believe, you know? Um, and it can kind of be like a gift, like it's a, it's a curse. I don't think it's like a, a gift at all. Um, but I'm just saying like, we should just reevaluate things. Like just never act on impulse, just. And it's just definitely something that I don't feel is touched on enough. Um, our mind is very powerful and it can play tricks on us. It can fool us into like believing anything, um, you know, and it's just, we just really have to get to the root of that and just kind of have some kind of discernment, you know, when it comes to people and their intentions and our intentions with people as well. Um, just have to be aware because uh, even if I feel like if you love someone with your mind, it can cause you to ha like have a broken heart in the end. You know what I'm saying? So you're believing this person with all your mind. Oh, they're this, blah, 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 that. Oh no, they can be great. They're going to be great one day. You know, you have more faith in that person than they have in themselves, right? So in your mind, you're like, they're going to, you know, be this. They're going to be great. Oh, we're going to be great together. Oh, they're like this right now, but they're going to change. Or like, I'm going to change this person. Oh, just give it a few months and this person will stop doing that bad habit. And you know, everything will be fine, right? Well, listen, sis you're going to end up with a broken heart thinking that you know you can just roll with the punches and that this person is going to grow and change and you know by like by ignoring the red flags you know and it's kind of hard to see the red flags and you know it's just so hard to kind of vocalize this because when you go through it you're like dang I should have seen this, right? And it's easier said than done. It's easier to say, you know, stop loving people with your mind. And you know, you gotta like, your heart has to be able to, you know, you know, and I can like honestly say that I wear my heart on my sleeve. And so it's kind of, it's very hard to see and to feel. And it's like all the while you're like forcing yourself to believe that the person is the one, one way well, your heart knows there another way, this person has already evaluated the fact that you're able to do this. They're like, you know what? While she's convincing herself that I'm this way, I'm gonna convince her even more because I know she's naive, I know she's gullible, I know she's not gonna see right through me. We can't let the enemy get to us, guys. Ladies, there should be a better way of figuring this out, right? So we're going to work together. You guys listen to my podcast. We are definitely going to touch on this because I know for a fact that this is something that I am horrible at, but I'm getting a little bit better at and I'm no longer going to accept broken hearts. I don't want you guys to accept it. You know, we're wonderful people. You know what I'm saying? Like we deserve to be treated great. You know, we deserve to, we deserve to live 
in a world full of happiness, right? We should build like strong friendships and relationships without having to play these little mind games and just like be confused by like what your mind is telling your heart. You know what I'm saying? So let's work together, guys. Let's figure out these different strategies so we can be stronger together. We can help each other out and just be able to just like get through these things, right? Because who wants a broken heart, right? So stop loving with your mind. Pay attention to the signs, read, gain wisdom, talk to your older friends, your older mom, your mom knows. Mama knows best. All right, guys. Let's work on it. I know you guys can work on it. Stories below. Let me know where you guys have been in this kind of situation. And you were like, darn, you figured it out after the fact. We don't want to do that anymore. Okay? Let's raise the bar. Yes, let's raise the bar, guys. Peace out. Love y'all. Talk to you soon.